Hey guys, what's happening? So, got this customer's printer here, and um, I thought I'd show you how I uh, align my dual, a dual Z printer. Um, so this printer here has dual Z motors, and one of the issues with these dual Z motors is they can get out of sync sometimes. And uh, before, in the past, I would just use a uh, a measurement here, like a, like a ruler, but it wasn't very accurate. And what's funny is I had a machinist come by. Uh, I was actually fixing his 3D printer. And uh, he actually told me about the the one the one two three block. So this is actually an awesome uh, method of doing it. It's way better than this thing because this is a total headache to do this one. But what's funny is he didn't, he wasn't really familiar with electronics, but he was knew a lot about machining, and that's what he did with his printer. I was like, I was like, how the hell did you make these things so perfect? And he said one two three block, and then I went and looked up what a one two three block was. Um, you know, so they're basically a one two three block is one. Or one inch wide, two here, and then three here. So you just put those in the bed. There. This should also work with the single motors too. Um, but one of the worst things you can do is is have a, if it's out of alignment, then this thing will be going printing up and down like this, and it'll be trying to compensate the bed. So if you have, if you have an auto leveling probe, it will try to compensate. But one of the worst things you can do for quality is have your axis going up and down while you're trying to print. There's just too much room for error on on the lead screw, so you you want you'll know if, you, if these motors are turning, it'll be trying to compensate, and that's the worst thing you can do is you just want to keep it flat as possible, so it's not going up and down trying to compensate. You know, because you don't want the thing to go at an angle like this, like like a you know not straight angle. So, all right, see so right there, it's lined up. Put it like down below. You can get these. It's only twenty bucks on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, every single printer I do now is like this. I, I don't even bother with the ruler anymore. I mean, this thing is just perfect. I mean, it, this is perfectly even now with the bed. All right, so I made the adjustment with the gauge box. I'm doing the print here. So as you can see, these little motors, the, the couplers, are hardly even moving. They're actually virtually not moving at all. So that means that this thing is extremely aligned. Um, so what would happen is that those things would go up and down to try to compensate for the unevenness. But that's how you can always tell when you got it really, really flat. Is these things aren't moving around at all to compensate. Plus, I mean, there's other things I had to do to this printer, you know. Got to do fix, fixed beds, you know, a couple other things. But, yeah, for the most part, it's just really just the blocks. But, all right, hopefully this video helps somebody. Awesome.